Now, WGEL News 8's Weather on the 8s with meteorologist Christine Ferreira. Good morning to you and happy Friday. We are expecting some light snow today during the afternoon and early evening hours for the majority of it. And it's just going to be a quick coating to an inch and it's out of here by late evening. So we are good to go here for the morning commute. It's the evening commute where we will see snow falling, but I still think roads will be primarily wet. Rain is our next type of weather situation uh, coming into the weekend, and that will be Saturday night into Sunday. Highs, they're going to be near 50 next week, so a far cry from the 20s and 30s that we saw this week. Today, News 8 Storm Team forecast calls for brief morning sun, then the sky clouds over late morning. For the afternoon, flurries, light snow arrive. I think between the hours of noon and about 2 p.m., most of us should start seeing some flurries or light snow then. For the evening, light snow will be ending shortly after the evening rush. There could be some slick spots, though, especially on bridges and overpasses as temperatures fall below freezing late this evening. Tonight, mostly cloudy, not as cold. Instead of teens, even single digits that we've seen this week, we will stay in the 20s overnight. Tomorrow, a milder day, 42 to 46. That's still slightly below average, but hey, we'll take it. Temperatures over the weekend will get to 50, mid-50s by Sunday. Here's a live look in York. Fiery pink sunrise for you. Those clouds starting to come in from the southwest. It's 12 degrees, though, with calm winds in York. It's 11 in Sealands Grove, 15 in Lebanon, 19 in Lancaster. But temperatures will pop quickly above freezing later this afternoon. Here's a live look at our satellite and radar combined. We are dry now. You can see this disturbance to our south producing snow and rain. Now that will continue to move due east. We're just going to be on the northern fringe of it, getting some light snow today. So the predictor shows us clouds thickening by late morning. This afternoon, between lunchtime and about 2, that's when most of the snow starts to come in, falling very lightly and melting. And then for the evening commute, snow still sticking around, but it quickly winds down thereafter. And we should be seeing mainly cloudy skies, keeping temperatures warmer tonight. Tomorrow, mostly cloudy to partly cloudy throughout the day. Late tomorrow is when we get rain into early Sunday, and then it's out of here by midday Sunday. I think we should see some clearing, and if we do, temperatures could easily pop into the 50s Sunday afternoon. Predictor estimated snowfall totals for today. It's uh, very light. In some spots, especially farther north, you might just see flurries through the duration of the event. Farther south, a uh, quick coating to an inch. And here's a look at the seven day. We spring forward Saturday night before you go to bed. Turn those clocks ahead one hour. If you have the uh, smoke detector batteries that are good to go for a while, just give you that smoke detector a uh, test and make sure you have an emergency plan in place with your family. Always good things to remember. Yes. Do that twice mm -hmm. a year. It is. Mm -hmm. yep. And things like in your car and mm -hmm. then above your oven, right. those things right. that you forget and you're like, what Absolutely. time is it actually about? Now, do I, I have to do all this when I'm tired though because I've gotten less, one less hour of sleep. When are we, we're never tired. So, when right. are we tired? Or maybe we're always tired, so it won't be a big deal. <laughs> right. You won't right. make any difference on Monday. Yeah, right. We'll still be tired. <laughs> Christine, thanks. All right.